we're going to create a new Spindle PWM profile in Mach 4 and then activate the ESS in its plugin. Create profile, put in the name, choose the WX Mox screen set, choose the default IP address of 10999. Activate the ESS. Make sure the ESS is selected. Go into Mach. Enable the ESS plugin. And restart Mach 4. Use our new profile that we just created. We will now set up the spindle in the ESS config and we'll set the spindle mode to PWM and choose the base frequency that our PWM to analog 0 to 10 volt DC converter is expecting. Some of them expect 200 hertz, some expect 1 kilohertz, or 400 hertz. It doesn't really matter. Choose what works with yours. Configure, plugins, ESS, motors. PWM, and you could put in the 250 hertz, 400 hertz. We will now set our spindle PWM in spindle forward pins. Go to pin config, and I'm going to use port 1, pin 14, and port 1, pin 16. As long as you're using outputs, it doesn't matter which ones you use. You can even go down to port 3. We will now assign the pins or signal aliases to the correct outputs. Output signals. Enable the PWM. Enable the forward. Spindle PWM. Spindle forward. We're done in mock config, so hit OK. We'll now go into the mock config, and in the spindle window there, we'll set the max RPMs for what our spindle will output. It could be 24,000, 15,600, or 3,600 RPMs. Mock, spindle, and I'll just use 24,000 for both. And you want to make sure your max RPM is the same here as it is down there. You want to keep your minimum RPM at zero here, and on your VFD, you may set a minimum of 12,000. Hit OK. Now we'll close Mach 4 and restart it to make sure the settings are saved. We'll now test out the spindle by using the following commands. M3 will turn the spindle clockwise. S12000 will be half of the 24000, so we'll see a 50% duty cycle on our 1000 Hz PWM output signal. We'll click Enable and Mock, go to MDI, and enter our command. We'll hit Cycle Start. If we look, we have a 50% duty cycle rounding error in the oscilloscope at a 1 kilohertz frequency and our yellow line went from low to high indicating that forward is active. We'll now use M4S18000. M4 is counterclockwise, 18,000 is 3 quarters or 75 percent of 24,000. Click cycle start and our yellow line went down and our blue line got bigger. It went to a 75 percent duty cycle. Still 1 kilohertz base frequency that the 0 to 10 volt analog converter is expecting. If we now change our ESS setting base frequency for the spindle to 400 hertz, we will see the effect. And we can't get into it because we have to hit disable. Motors. 
400 hertz. Okay. Enable. And we'll just use the same command again. And now that I did, frequency 400 hertz, duty cycle still the same. And now we'll use the M5 command to stop the spindle. And our outputs went off. Thank you for watching.